Hey guys, welcome back to Image Processing Tutorial. This is episode number five, where we're gonna read and write image uh, with implement, implemented with C++. In the last episode, we read the image, and in this episode, we're gonna write the image to a file. So uh, we'll recap what we've done uh, in earlier tutorial. So, uh, so you go to CD technical skills. So yeah, CD learning and uh, image uh, I think that's the big guy yeah I'm interesting so uh, I search this is that's it yeah file you under this this oh yeah it's difficult like uh, I, uh, look at this I the file you under is hello world uh, that doesn't make sense isn't it so we'll look into that like uh, so this is the one the print we don't want that print right here so we'll go here and uh, this is the print okay here we don't we either don't want that and we had to make change here also we don't want this void print over here yeah and that makes sense so also something uh, yeah this is the one it's here the file and this this don't want that thing either we'll just keep it over here you will say that um, the image image how uh, we say we say which is the image uh, we say arch yeah, arch for one it was successful yeah so since you you yes that's fine <laughs> yes. and that's fine uh, successful so that's it I think we just check it over we did it right yeah that's it so today we want to write the image so basically uh, we have to write the image so we will we'll form a function which name write image uh, void so basically if you are making if you are reading some image and you are manipulating that uh, image data and you want, you want to save it to another file and uh, in that case uh, like you don't want to make changes with the data you already read from the file uh, because uh, you want to use the data four or five times and so you want to use it more times so you know, what you should do is you have to make a copy of the object that image processing object then you have to read the new image uh, then you have to apply this function to the newly created uh, newly created object so that's what i basically recommend because we don't want to mess much with this memory we will go here yeah so uh, what's that void image processing and the image processing something like we will do uh, right image and that oh, what was that yeah uh, and yeah so we need a file pointer to write the image means uh, yeah and this is this is it and also we'll just copy this thing yeah copy paste will do the magic for us um, file star we'll do fp out and we'll just say if fp out open arc we'll do deal with something like arc 2 and we use it for writing so that's fp and if so if that didn't work out sometimes some error might occur so we we'll say couldn't write we say error couldn't couldn't write the image so it might be like uh, the user who is using it might know okay he couldn't write the image there was something buggy over there so he might solve it in uh, programming so if that was successful like uh, if we could if we could write the image um, so i think something more has to be added like, um, 
successful okay we uh, i just want to say we will follow a uh, paradigm like uh, a standard like we will use uh, slash and after every c out so that uh, uh, something bad don't happen not bad like uh, it should look good that's that's what i meant so mm, uh, so uh, yeah to So add something in slash in that session. So we'll deal here something like <coughs> so we wanna write something. Uh, we wanna first f printf f printf um, that's the fp out and yeah we have to write the header like p5 we haven't stored that one because we, we only thing that indicating it's p5 is the the number of bands but even that is insufficient because we can differentiate with two or five so we need something like uh, we need to store a new value uh, with, to store the header value so we say um, we say it as header comma header that's it so it will be easier to remember we do something like uh, I'm sorry. Uh, I got a misquote. Maybe that's not fair. <laughs> okay, let's deal with it later. And uh, we have to say this dot uh, this dot um, that one is uh, header header equal to two and this copy this thing yeah tap that's it Dab, yeah. oh oh what was that yeah. I did something bad so this is uh, this is the header is six here and it's three here and it's five here so that makes some sense so we'll write the we'll say uh, it's p then we say percentage d though we write the header header as uh, so header it points to the header now we say um, uh, after that number of rows comes so um, percentage uh, D number of uh, columns, sorry, number of columns, then space, then percentage D number of rows, then we say new column, and we will write uh, percentage D as the high value, and another new column. So, totally we will write it, burn it up. <laughs> this dot number of columns, comma, and um, this uh, number of rows comma and next is uh, the ha that thing high value mm -hmm. this star uh, high value so that makes sense now we have to write the data now basically we are done with the header now we have to write the data if uh, oh, f right and first we have to specify what, uh, what is the data we have to write as you mean this dot image and we have to write one by one so and that's one and that's the total size is uh, the dot pixels that we have dot pixels <coughs> uh, that's it and maybe we need to do something uh, yeah fp out yeah that's it so and after that we'll say have it uh, we wrote the file wrote the image into we say the file name yeah, arc arc and it's two and, and we say yeah that's the standard no we don't want four dots just three is fine so i think that i think that's basically what we, we wanted to so we'll go here we'll change something like we you know, I think I did something like this. So this is the way. Yes. Dot pgm. L. Dot pgm. We go to the main. Then we say m. Dot right. Right image. Yeah. G. B. So 
we put it down here are we done here yeah we are done here too so let's try it brought the image so some l.pgm theme over here we will check whether that's working or not let's technical skill and where was that thing c learning image processing yeah this is the l dot image so actually look at this is the this is the s dot image also we have the same thing l dot image so we successfully wrote the image i'm happy bugs didn't come like <laughs> i had some bugs but before starting the tutorial i just sold it that's what you saw in the test features i was trying out whether this thing works or not only confirm after confirming that uh, the code works i started recording the video so that's it thank you guys in the next class uh, next tutorial we, i think we gonna cover something like histogram equalization we'll go the, through that those things those procedures so so that's it thank you guys love and peace stay tuned